Welcome to this video demonstration of Attachment Manager for Outlook. Attachment Manager is an add-in for Microsoft Outlook that makes it very easy and effortless to detach and store attachments outside of Outlook with complete user transparency and yet still offer same user experience and seamless integration of external attachments to emails in Outlook. Before we go in detail on how Attachment Manager works and what it can do for you, let me discuss briefly on why this Outlook add-in was designed at the first place. Most email accounts include a mailbox or account storage limit. And in 90% of the case, this limit is breached primarily by the presence of attachments ranging from small kilobytes to large megabytes and even in 100 megabytes. So, an effective solution is to store attachments of existing emails externally from Outlook and yet still maintain the hard link between the mail and their associated attachments. But, if you had expected Microsoft Outlook would offer the wizard or tool to do just that, then you are in for a big surprise. There is no such feature built into Microsoft Outlook. It is with this limitation in mind that we have designed Attachment Manager add-in for Outlook to fill this void in mailbox optimization in Outlook. Let us now look at how it works in Microsoft Outlook. Here is the Attachment Manager ribbon in Outlook 2010 and is present in every Outlook folder. The first step is to prepare the attachment file directory where all the detached files will be stored. To do that, go to Settings menu and click the Attachment Options. Here you can specify if you want to use a single attachment file directory for all Outlook folders or a separate attachment file directory for each Outlook folder. By default, it uses a single file directory for all Outlook folders. If you enable a separate attachment directory for each Outlook folder, you will see a new button in the Attachment Manager ribbon or toolbar to specify an attachment directory for that particular Outlook folder. For our demonstration, we will use a single attachment file directory for all Outlook folders. Now let us try stripping attachments from an email manually. Here, I have selected this particular email that has five attachments of varying size. The total size of this mail is 13 megabytes. I will use the detach button in the ribbon to strip off the attachments from this mail. As you can see here, Attachment Manager has moved the attachments from this email to the file directory, which we had specified earlier in the settings. And what are left behind in the email are the hard links, which I can use to access the detached files from within the email itself. Notice that the size of the mail item has been drastically reduced to just a mere 12 kilobytes compared to 13 megabytes it was before. To be more productive, you can select multiple mail items to strip off the attachments out of Outlook. If you want to strip off attachments from all items of this particular Outlook folder, you can go to Advanced Menu and select Detach All. Doing so, you would process all the mails in a single click. If you want all the attachments back to the email item, you can simply use the Reattach button to put back all the associated detached files to the original mail item. The hard links from the email will also be automatically removed. This might come handy, particularly when you forward or reply to emails that were already being stripped of attachments. Let us detach this particular email again, then reply to it. Before I send out the reply, I can choose to remove the links to the external attachments using the Remove Links button. This process tidy up the mail conversation to be sent to the recipient to its original state. If required, I can also reattach the external attachments associated with the original email to this reply. So, 
you have the added flexibility of both features when the need arise. At times, you might only want to extract copies of the attachments to a file directory without actually detaching from the mail item. To do that, you can go to Advanced Menu and select Copy Attachments to a Custom File Folder. Doing so, you can choose a file directory on your local disk and save all the attachments. So far, we have only tried stripping attachments from mails manually. What if you want to automate this process for any new incoming emails? Let us take an example of this particular Outlook folder. We have 40 existing mails in total, with many of them having attachments. And I want these existing emails and any new incoming mails received in this folder to be processed automatically so that the attachments are detached and saved to a file directory without my intervention. Under the Settings menu, open the Monitored Folders option. Here I can specify which Outlook folders or shared mailboxes are to be monitored for automatic detachment. I can choose, for example, say, Support Requests. Outlook folder from this dialog box. There is no limit to the number of folders for monitoring. So feel free to use it with as many Outlook folders or mailboxes required. Now let us save the settings to proceed. As you can notice, Attachment Manager is automatically stripping attachments from the existing mails. Now, this particular Outlook folder is being tracked and monitored for any new email messages. To test and mimic the arrival of new mails, I can drag few emails from my inbox to this folder, and Attachment Manager should automatically start stripping files from the new emails. Another useful application of automatic stripping of attachments is for the Sent Item folder. Most of us will be aware of the problem with redundant attachments accumulating in the sent items folder, because a copy of each message that you send is saved underneath it. With Attachment Manager, you can choose if to detach or delete all attachments from the mails in the sent items folder. Let us try the first option and click Save. This process of automatic stripping of attachments is done seamlessly with an Outlook and that too, without the user ever knowing it. This is a great way of increasing productivity without ever worrying about the size of your mailbox or Outlook data file. At times, you might want certain type of attachments to be spared from being detached. You can go to Settings menu and select Extensions option. You can instruct Attachment Manager to skip detaching files having the extensions you defined here. If you want to have finer control over the detachment process, you can go to Settings menu and select Attachment Options. Attachment Manager provides you the flexibility to customize the naming scheme of the detached files, location of the embedded links in the email or the attachment output directory, etc. From this short demonstration, we have learned that Attachment Manager helps you to save precious space on your mailboxes and also contributes in making Outlook run much faster with better performance. It also spares you from having to do that laborious work of archiving and deleting of attachments from mail items in your Outlook. For more detail information and trials on Attachment Manager, you can go to the product site at assistmyteam.net slash attachment manager. This concludes the video demonstration on Attachment Manager for Outlook. If you have any queries, write to us at support at assistmyteam.net.